At Adafruit, it's no secret that we're huge fans of the iPhone. We use it to run our Circuit Playground iOS app, which is really handy at the electronics workbench, and we've been laser etching the backs of these since the very first model. Well, our friend from China just sent us a fun kit that allows you to mod the back of your iPhone to illuminate the Apple logo. It's a pretty tricky soldering job, but what are we if not ambitious? Let's give it a try. The kit comes with all of the specialized tools you'll need, including some non-conductive tweezers, both kinds of screwdrivers, a light panel with colorful decals, and an instruction booklet. There's also a replacement back for your iPhone with a special transparent but mirrored Apple logo. The first thing you'll do is turn your iPhone off and remove the back by first removing the two screws on the bottom of your iPhone, which are either Pentalobe or Phillips. For more information about replacing the back of your iPhone, check out our previous video on the subject. After the screws are removed, you can slide the back up and off of the iPhone. Next, remove the screw that secures the power connection cable. Then use your fingernail or the included tweezers to pry the connection apart. This will ensure that while you're working on the rest of the iPhone, no power is being delivered. Next, remove the screws that secure the shield that protects the circuits near the top of the iPhone. This is an iPhone 4, and the shield inside an iPhone 4S looks slightly different. I like to put my screws on the paper in exactly the same placement where they go inside the iPhone. That way I can make sure to put the right screw back where it goes, since they're all different lengths. Now the shield can be gently pried away and set aside for later. I'd like to take this moment to remind you that this project definitely voids your iPhone's warranty and we take no responsibility if you try it and your iPhone breaks. Next, use your tweezers to pry up the two little circuit protectors on the right hand side. This will be different on the 4S as well, but I'll show you that spot a little bit later. Now meet my friend, the USB microscope. It's gonna help us see the tiny spot where we need to solder and uh, you can learn about it in this other video we made right here. Focus your microscope and identify the four components between the two little doors that you opened. You're gonna cover this spot with a piece of double stick tape, being sure not to get it in the way of those connectors that are gonna snap back down later. The double stick tape is included in the kit and uh, when you think you've cut a small enough rectangle, cut it again smaller. It's a really, really tiny piece and you can use your forceps to get it in place. Next, pull out the light panel and strip just the black wire and then tin the small, tiny little end of the red wire. Solder it in place as shown and be super careful. You might want to do it right in front of your computer monitor while looking at the output from the USB microscope to be super precise. The wire is then held in place by sticking it on that piece of double stick tape before flipping the doors back down. Here's the spot where you want to solder for the iPhone 4S. Close the connector flaps you opened earlier, making sure that the wire goes between them and doesn't prevent a good connection. And then plug the power cable back in and secure that screw you removed earlier. Then replace the shield that protects the circuits near the top of the iPhone with all five screws that you laid out so carefully so it makes it really easy to put them all back in the right place. Wrap the black wire around any one of these screws to connect it to the ground plane. If the phone screen is on, the panel should illuminate. And if it doesn't, go back and troubleshoot. If you like, take one of the colorful decals and place it over the Apple logo on the included back and then tape the light panel to that spot on the back of the iPhone. Replace the back the same way you took it off and secure the screws at the bottom of the phone. The last step is to show your friends. Now, we can't ever sell this kit because it comes with a bootleg Apple logo replacement back for your iPhone, but we figured the engineering challenge was fun just the same. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.